right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And I am back, Jack. Thank you. I appreciate that. Can you hear me loud and clear now? So I'll start all over. I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> we lost to a one and uh, six team. Uh, we look like the one and six team today. Uh, embarrassing. By the way, I appreciate Jack because I hit the mute button. I'm so fucking pissed. I. This is what happens. This is what happens. Uh, you know, this is what you get from me, man. A fucking pissed off guy hitting his fucking microphone and it went, uh, it went on mute, man. Uh, listen, uh, I'll start all over. Uh, we played a one and six fucking team. We were five and two. We look like the one and six team. Okay. On fucking believable. How about them fims? Yeah. Woo, Jason. You guys got two wins. I wouldn't uh, really talk too much shit. Uh, we're still five and three. You guys are still fucking bad. Uh, and yeah, uh, you guys, by the way, you guys won with Jacoby Brissett. So you could tell Captain D, uh, how about Jacoby Brissett now? Anyways, uh, you guys, hey, you guys control me all you want. I deserve it. We deserve it. 100,000%. We deserve it. We fucking lost to, um, a one in 16. So Jason, thank you for coming in. I appreciate you a hundred percent. Cause Hey, Jason comes on, on my Saturday show. Uh, so I, yeah, I got nothing left, uh, nothing but love for you and brutal, honest, uh, you're being brutally honest with me right now, but not about the fins. The fins suck too. Don't, 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 don't get that twisted, bro. Uh, and, and by the way, you can't really talk too much trash when your team's terrible. Just a heads up. Uh, but you can talk trash against my team, how we play today. Cause we fucking suck. We fucking suck. So there's no doubt about it. If you, if you want to come here and trash the bills, I'm all for it because all, all I'm going to do right now is trash the Buffalo Bills. This is all this is going to be about right now, this post game. Because normally I do my post game on Monday, but I'm so fucking heated. Uh, I'm going to do it now, and I'm just going to bash the fucking shit out of this team. So, Jason, bring it on. Uh, Captain D, if you're with Jason, bring it on. Say how shitty we are, but don't talk about your Dolphins. Because you can't do that. A bad team cannot talk shit about a, a team that's better. And you guys know that. But you could definitely talk shit about how we play today. No doubt about it. I'm all for that. Uh, Beat any good teams yet there. Jason, don't don't, don't go there. We, we went to the AFC Championship last year. We did beat. We still beat the Chiefs this year. We should have beaten the Titans. So for as much as you say that, uh, that's not that's not true, bro. That's that's not true. But like I said, Jason, if you want to talk shit about the Buffalo Bills, how we've been playing the last two games, no doubt about it. You can you can you can rip into this team because I'm about to rip into this team. Uh, but you can't say we're we're a bad we're we, you know we haven't beat anybody. That's that's not how it works, bro. And 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 like hey, th th it's true any given Sunday. But I, I don't give a fuck flying fuck if you're a good team, great team, you should not lose to a one and six football team. Okay. Um, it's not true, Jason. It's not true. Check your facts, bro. Uh, we got to the AFC championship last year. We are still a good team. We still got a way well uh, organized team compared to the Dolphins. So do not go there because I will. If you want to go there, we could go there back and forth and I'll beat you every time in this debate. Don't go. Don't even go there because we've been way better than you guys. We are still kings on the AFC East. We still won the AFC last, last year. So good try. I appreciate you. Uh, and this year, buddy, we are, we're still five and three. Uh, we still beat you guys twice. Uh, we're going to handle our business against New England, hopefully. And it doesn't matter who you beat, buddy. It's about getting into the playoffs, right? Uh, but like I said, if you want to, I'm not getting, <laughs> Jason, listen, brother, you control me all you want. And you can tell Cat and D, you control me always wants. And that's all fine and dandy. Okay. But. The facts remain. We played shitty today. We played shitty last week. You cannot talk shit about this team overall and just say we're a garbage organization now. That's funny, though. It is funny. Uh, oh, so we suck, Jason, now. Okay, hey, listen, Jason, I'm going to have to boot you out of here because all you're doing now is just trolling and talking shit. Like, if you're here, listen, I'm talking shit about my own team, how bad we played today, no doubt about it. But if you're just going to sit here and fucking uh, talk shit that we beat nobody this year and all that, then you, you don't know your facts, bro. You don't know your facts, and uh, hey, D, tell tell your boy to get off my channel, man. Uh, straight up, bro. Don't don't come on my channel if you're gonna talk shit like that, bro. Cause I, I'm not about that. I'm gonna talk shit about my own team. It's my team, but know your fucking squad. You don't know my team. You don't know my team, bro. So yeah, I'm pissed off about how we played the last two weeks. We should have blown you guys right the fuck out. 
Okay, and we didn't, and we still we still beat you guys pretty good by two scores. But it don't matter. We lost. I'm pissed. That's cool. But you have no right to come in here and troll uh, when your team's garbage, bro. If your team was not garbage, then cool, man. I'll t- I'll take it for what it is, bro. But anyways, back onto the uh, the, the the Buffalo Bills today. Um, yo, plain and simple, man. Josh Allen did all he could today, and, and he made a lot of mistakes, bro. And that's what happens when you have a bad offensive line. Okay, uh, you're running for your life. You're trying to do everything you can. He looked like the 2018 Josh Allen today. No doubt about it. Uh, Also, Brian Dable looked like the 2018 Brian Dable. Uh, Back again, this whole, this really the whole season, uh, Brian Dable has uh, called terrible, terrible games. I'm sorry. I I don't care. There hasn't been one really good game where I'm like, hey, man, I'm loving the play calls. I'm loving the play calls. Red zone's looking good. No, man, it really hasn't been. I get that we're the number one offense scoring on whatever the fuck that is, but it doesn't look like it to me. And it's been it's been trending down. It's been trending down. The offensive line cannot protect, um, which obviously is not helping, but that's Dable's responsibility to help Allen when this offense can't protect. I kept saying, got to get Allen out of the pocket. He's getting killed in the middle of the pocket. The, the offensive line is collapsing. They're collapsing on top of Josh. Did you guys hear the stat that the announcers made? Josh Allen has the most batted uh, footballs in the NFL, 10 on the season. What's that mean? That means the, the offensive line is getting pushed back and defenders are getting their hands up and swatting the ball down, right? So Allen has to get out of the pocket. You got to get out of the pocket because they're not going to protect you, bud. They are not going to protect you. They're going to – listen, you're going to get – Josh Allen's going to get hurt before the end of the season if this continues. Uh, Cody Ford, fucking terrible, by the way, uh, had his chance again. What, what is this, his fifth chance, sixth chance? Once again, playing like shit. Let's get some of these comments in here. Sorry, guys. I'm just – I'm on a roll. I'm fucking pissed, dude. Uh, Scott, Josh has had an inflating through Tommy. Tom, between his Zen comment and his uh, attitude recently – Honestly, he's he's getting full of himself. Honestly, his attitude changed, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, listen, I saw no – the sideline was quiet. Sideline was quiet today. I didn't see Josh motivating anyone on the sideline. Just went to the sideline and pouted. I love Josh Allen, but let's admit that. Uh, he was pouting today. Pouting, went on the sideline. Maybe he's just frustrated that the offensive line is not giving him any time. Uh, but he made some mistakes on his own, too. Some of those, listen, we got away with the fumble at the end there. He fumbled. Let's be real, you guys. We got away with that. Still couldn't convert. Uh, Dable calling fucking um, quarterback draws with one minute left in the halftime, uh, at the end of the first half. Why? What the fuck is he doing there? Like, get what I'm saying here? This It's all, like, adding up to, like, a disaster, a fire. Like, this this is exactly what we got. A loss versus a 1-16 because everything's starting to add up now. Right, the play calling bad, the offensive line bad. Right now, Josh Allen's reverting back to his old ways because he can't, because he's desperate. Right, desperate to make a play. Uh, it, it, it's bad, man. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and listen, is it me? Teams are starting to recognize how bad this offensive line is. They are bringing the pressure, and Dable has no answer for the blitz. We have no answer for the blitz. And I love how the commentators say, oh, you better not blitz Josh Allen, better not blitz Josh Allen. What are you talking about? We're terrible when they blitz him. He seems lost. He doesn't, there's nowhere to go. Uh, Let's see here. Bullseye. Uh, I feel the only reason Josh would make mistakes is mine was too focused on being uh, responsible for making something happen. Yeah, that uh, bullseye, 100%. No doubt about it. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, it just seems like it's a jo- it's a 2018 Josh Allen when he had nobody, no receivers, bad off. It's a line. So Josh was just kind of, you know, trying to do anything, right? Just just trying to stay alive back there, right? Pretty much. And, and, and it looked like the same. It looked like that 2018 Josh today because he was just trying to make something happen and nothing was there. The receivers... I don't understand. They can't get open now. Like all of a sudden they're not even helping. Um, 
we're not a two-dimensional team. They keep trying to make us two-dimensional. McDermott and Dable, and we're not. We're not. The offensive line cannot block for shit. They cannot block. So stop with it, okay? I'd rather just go pass heavy and, and we'll die off that if that's the way it works. Because right now, the run game is atrocious. And that's not on the running backs. That's not on the running backs. I, listen, I don't give a fuck who we have back there. You got two, three, four linemen back there pushing back, get in the backfield already. They're doomed. The play's over. That That's a wrap for the running back. They got nowhere to go. I give Singletary credit today. A lot of those plays, he, he was he was getting away from the first, first two guys, really. Nowhere to go. Getting swarmed by defenders. It, it's, it's, it's miserable. Cody Ford, like I said, miserable. Uh, Scott Blakely, Scott Blakely. Why are they sticking with this O-line, Tommy? We knew last year was an issue. Sometimes Bean values the draft picks too much. Give him some fucking help, Bean, and give some of your treasure picks away. Yes, 100%. Bro, I talked about this uh, after the trade deadline. I love Brandon Bean. Absolutely love Brandon Bean. But is Brandon Bean, like, too picky as far as he a tough negotiator when it comes to trades? So far, I'm going to say yes. Because we had our, it seems like we always have our in trade talks, but it doesn't happen, right? Uh, and they always come back with the whole, well, we like our team. We like our team. We think we can win with this team. No, man. This is the same offensive line you had last season. Nothing has changed. It's gotten worse, 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 worse. Cody Ford, your draft pick that you moved up the draft, it's been a fucking nightmare. A nightmare. You cannot find a spot for him. He gets benched. He gets another chance. Gets benched again. Then gets another chance because of injury. Plays like shit again. Daryl Williams, who you paid big money to, cannot play right. Deion Dawkins is still not himself after the COVID. Getting penalties. Mitch Morse, one of the highest paid centers. I'm sorry for you, Morse. Mitch Morse fans. But he's not that. He's okay. He's all right. We could have. It's money down the toilet. I'll be honest with you. We we could probably find better. The whole uh, offensive line, maybe besides Deion Dawkins, needs to go. They all need to go. All of them. Mongo, Daryl Williams, Felice, uh, uh, Cody Ford, Ma Spencer Brown. I like Spencer Brown, but right now he's hurt, and I don't know much. You know, it's going to take a couple years for him to get to get good, like to get one of the top offensive linemen. I think he can get there. But right now, the rest of the line, total trash. Total trash. Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about the penalties, uh, Bulls. Uh, I think we had 115 yards penalties. Oh, wow. Fucking. And I was just talking about how disciplined this team is, that we don't make too many mistakes, that the defense is very disciplined. I thought the defense still played well today, but they shot themselves in the foot many times. Maybe they don't score nine points. Maybe they score fucking three. I'm, I'm being real. We gave them multiple 15-yard uh, um, penalties on sportsmen alike that were uncalled for, totally uncalled for um, in that game. Uh, I, I mean, what else can I say, man? Like, hold on, let me see here. Scott coming in here. Uh, I don't want to overreact, Thomas. Tommy, honestly, last couple of weeks' performance, do we even make the playoffs? Right now, dude, we do. We do because of the remaining schedule. But are we a one-and-done playoff team? Possibly. Probably. At this point. Listen, every Buffalo Bills fan out there, unless you're a fucking homer right now, has the right to be fucking pissed and concerned. Every single one of you guys have the right to be concerned and piss the fuck off right now. Because, listen, like I said earlier, I love Brandon Bean. I love Shaw McDermott. But it seems like they are, like, these are our guys. Like, you know, these this is, this is you know, great for the locker room. These are our guys. No, man. And, by the way, Bobby Johnson, Bobby fucking Johnson needs to go. Uh, hey, no, hey, hey, got a Titan fan here. And there is no excuses, Minnesota. And I love that. I love that. I did actually a, a, a video, no excuses, before the game even started. Uh, no, I, I'm cool. I'm cool with that. I, I love this. Uh, Minnesota Titan. If you were on when I started this, I was, I've was. i been bashing the Buffalo Bills since I started uh, this live stream. 
and you have every right to uh, talk shit. No, no. Right now, we're a fucking shitty team. Right now, the last two weeks, we are fucking trash. I don't give a fuck when anyone says I'm a fucking diehard Buffalo Bills fan, but with the way we're playing right now is trash. Fucking trash, okay? From the coaching, okay, with, with McDermott and his fucking timeouts that he's calling, I don't get it. Uh, the fucking table with the, uh, you know, minute left in the halftime, no timeouts left before the half runs. He's, he's calling a draw play for, for Josh Allen. Why? 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 Um, where Diggs finally got going in the fourth quarter. Why weren't we going to Diggs more in the beginning? Uh, Beasley totally not there again uh, for this game. Like, like they did not call any calls uh, plays for Beasley once again. They, they started to and then just went away from it. Uh, let's see here. Um, Tennessee Titans fan here. We have a huge opportunity tonight. Hey man, good luck to you guys. I mean, I'm listen. I I'm not talking trash for you know on other teams, man. It, it is what it is. I, I believe in my team. Uh, but listen, I'm a realist. I'm not a homer. I keep telling everybody that. I'm gonna fucking tell you how it is. Uh, right now, right now, we're a five and three team. New England is creeping the fuck up on us. Okay, they are playing way better ball than us, and these are facts. These are fucking facts. Uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It, it, it. The offensive line, this is not a Super Bowl team. It's not. We are not a Super Bowl team right now. I'm sorry. I thought we were going into the season. I was really hyped on us. I was. I love our defense. I do. I think our defense is going to get us to the playoffs. No doubt about it. I still believe we can win the AFC East. But, <laughs> but <laughs> getting out of the first round is a whole different story, man. Getting out of the first round of the playoffs is a whole different story, man. Can't Listen. We don't we we have a good defense. We don't have uh like a Ravens defense, you know, when they went to the Super Bowl. We don't have that Tampa defense when they went to the Super Bowl back in the day. They're not gonna carry us to the Super Bowl. I'm sorry. It's not. We gotta do something on offense. And uh to score six points against the Jaguars. Listen, I think I, I really truly believe teams are starting to figure us out. Teams are starting to figure out that we are not gonna run it because we can't, because the offensive line cannot block. Uh, so now what are they doing? They're bringing the fucking heat on Josh Allen. The offensive line cannot block Josh Allen scrambling, doing whatever he can. And he's making bonehead decisions. Listen, that, that interception was ridiculous. That is a 2018 Josh Allen interception. Uh, let's see here. Week nine fell apart. Yeah, man. Uh, Leon, the Titans had a game like this with the jets. We used to, uh, step and motivate it, uh, from it. The bills can do the same. No, no doubt. Listen, if the bills don't do the same, <laughs> if we play the Jets and we're going into halftime six to six, <laughs> I I'm gonna have to say maybe we got to pull the plug on the, on on this team this year. I, I'm gonna be real with you; it, it probably won't happen. The playoffs. If we lose to the Jets, uh, I think the season's over. I I, I mean I, I hate to say it. I, I really hate to say that because I'm a diehard Bills fan. I love Josh Allen. I love I love McDermott. We lose to the fucking Jets, man. It's over. It's over. It's over. Uh, you know, we got to bounce back against the Jets. Um, you know, I really thought this game was going to be a, a bounce back game from the Dolphin game. I really did. I, I thought we were going to fucking hammer these guys, man. They Listen, they're, they give up average 400 yards a game, man. 300 passing. Like, Josh, like, well, what, what the hell are we doing, man? Um, let's see here. Are uh, we supposed to get together after buy? Yeah. You know, making no trades, you know, listen, I, I believe there was an offensive lineman that got traded for like hardly nothing. He would have been a great pickup for us. I forget what team he came from, but it would have been a great addition. Uh, and now we got nobody. We got nobody. We got we got people getting hurt, right? Mongo's out. Godly. And Mongo's been playing bad. Imagine. I guess we needed Mongo today. <laughs> like, you know, like, man, wow. Uh, Spencer Brown's rookie. He's still learning on the job. So he's going to, you know, he's not all there yet. And he's going to be a starter when he gets back, you know? So it's just like, we're, we're, we're in a lot of, tr well, listen, we're in a lot, a lot of trouble. Yeah. Moss is out, but it doesn't matter. Moss could be out. We don't fucking, it doesn't matter. It, it honestly, I, I guess bring Breed up. Maybe Breed up will be good on, on some of those passes that Josh is throwing. Cause if you notice now, 
the pressure's getting to Josh so fast, so quickly, because the offensive line can't block. Josh is starting to throw a lot of short passes now. A lot of checkdowns, right? A lot of checkdowns to, to Moss, a lot of checkdowns to Devin Singletary. And they just don't got that speed to really create a lot of yards after catch. May, God, may, I guess Brita. I guess bring him up. I mean, you might as well now, right? You might as well now. Moss is out. So let's fucking uh, <laughs> let's bring Breed up and see if he can be the spark uh, for those short passes. Because, bro, when's the last deep pat? Like, when is the last Bills game you guys can honestly remember where the offense was just clicking? Uh, Washington game, I, I guess, right? The Washington game, we, we, we seem to be flowing on offense, I guess. I guess. That, that was about it. You know, it's, it, it, listen, it's been bad since week one. It, it really has. The red zone's been a problem, a big problem. Once again today, by the way, red zone, rant, failure, field goal city. I mean, that's what we're turning into now. We're turning into field goals, you know. Uh, Scott coming in. We had three wake-up games. Sorry, no excuse anymore. Trader dumped the entire OL. Yeah, can't get any worse. Uh, Bobby, the master of line cut. Yeah, bro, Bobby OG Johnson got to go, bro. I'm sorry, got to go. Uh, been our offensive lineman coach now for a few seasons, uh, and, and, the, and the offensive lines regress. Um, it's bad. It's really, really bad. Um, but, yeah, I, I – I, I, Either he's not, listen, here's the deal with Bobby Johnson. Either he's not doing a good job with the players he has, or the players just suck. They're that bad. And he's not telling McDermott and Bean the truth. Hey, these guys won't work. It's not like I can't do it. Like I've coached them up as best I can. Like this, these are who they are. We need to go out and get, better offense alignment and maybe he's just not saying that or maybe they just truly believe that this offensive line can play better i don't see it i don't see it man uh where was dable today eating fucking potato chips i don't fucking know he seemed really really fucking calm that that's where dable was that's dable correct is this it, that's all i see when they when they when they go up to the the box this, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't seem like he's fucking in the game because his fucking play calling is trash. I'm sorry. Listen, man, I lost a lot of fucking followers on Twitter uh, when Dable first got here. I was fucking, I, I fucking was not a Dable fan. I'm still pretty much, I'll be honest, I'm not a Dable fan. I'm not. I, I'm not. I've been saying it since he, he came to this team. I thought his track record spoke for itself. I thought every team he's ever coached for, and you can't count Alabama. Fucking Alabama. Was a high, what has uh, the top players? Of course, he's gonna look good as offensive coordinator. He has the best of the best. I'm talking about it. in the NFL teams that he's offensive been offensive coordinator for. They all have been bad offenses, and of course, people say, "Well, he had nobody on his team." Okay, but why were why was he fired after one season? Why didn't the head coach or the owner go, man, hey, listen, I think Dable, uh, if we just surround him with good players, he can, he can, uh, you know, get this offense going. No, man, they gave up on him mighty quick. We're the only team that Dable's been on, I think, for more than a, a few seasons. I'm serious. Every other team has been on one season. Uh, and, and the Patriots, I don't even think he was an offensive coordinator. He was like a fucking – uh, offensive coach or something. He was something. Tight ends. Go, uh, he wasn't even the coordinator. So I don't want to hear it about uh, fucking New England. Dable's been bad everywhere he's been. And he had a much better season in 2020. But of course, weapons all over the place. But he's gotten bad again. He's gone back to the 2019 Dable. Back to the fucking coming out of the second half. Not playing good football. Right back to the vanilla type offense, back to running Josh Allen consistently up up the middle with quarterback draw plays, consistently doing the same Dable stuff that we all go, what, why, why, why are you doing this? I don't get it. 
And, and the fact that that uh, McDermott is just sitting there, like not doing anything, not saying. I mean, why aren't these people pissed? Why is McDermott pissed? I'd be fucking furious if I'm a head coach right now. Why are the players so like nonchalant on the sideline? Nobody's fired up. Listen, for as bad as that game was, it was six to six most of the game. Why isn't Josh or, or Diggs on the sideline getting his players hyped up? I didn't see any of that. I didn't see it. Nobody motivating anybody. It's bad, man. Uh, Dibble not getting it. Fuck no, he's not getting the head coaching job. And that sucks for us because that means he probably fucking stays here another season. I was fucking hoping he would leave. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'll be dead honest, man. I, I was hoping he left last year because I'm ready for a no. I'm ready for a new OC. I am. I, I, I am. I'm, I'm sick of getting out coached. I'm so tired of getting out coached. Uh, and, and it just seems like that's like the, the thing, right? Playoffs, out coached, including McDermott. I got to throw McDermott in there too. McDermott is constantly on big games. He's out coached. And this wasn't even a big game. This was not even a big game. And he got fucking out coached by fucking Urban Meyer, who's a fucking one and six football team. It's embarrassing. Flat out embarrassing. Uh, Leon. Josh Allen is tremendous talent. But yeah, teams are getting to understand him. And whoever's calling his play calls will need to start mixing up better. Yeah, 100%. Listen, I keep saying this. It's Dable's fucking job to read what the defense is doing up top in his fucking box and call the plays to help. Josh Allen, because he's seeing, oh shit, okay, this is what the defense is doing. They're bringing this blitz. They're doing, you got to adjust during the game. Not every game's going to go the way you planned it going into the game. He's terrible at in game adjustments. Maybe the worst offensive coordinator at in game adjustments I've ever seen, ever. He sticks to his game plan, he doesn't change it doesn't change it and it frustrates the fuck out of me you gotta fucking change your play calls when things aren't going right you gotta help your quarterback out you are the eyes in the sky you see everything that's why you're up in your fucking box on your fucking swivel chair right not fucking sitting back there but bro what are you doing man getting your fucking fat ass in the game fucking see what's going on in the field Mix it up, man. Fucking mix it up, dude. James, we're not going to the one seed. Uh, no, fuck no. Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, I almost want to do right now uh, more. Playoffs? You want to talk about playoffs? Playoffs? Like, bro, for real. I'm fucking serious. I would love for McDermott to come out on the mic and give us one of those fucking uh, playoffs rants. <laughs> I'll take it right now. He should be fucking pissed. That whole fucking team should be pissed. Every single fucking player should be fucking angry right now because the defense is doing their job. Even though they did some stupid ass penalties today, stupid ass penalties, they still held them to nine points. You know what's funny? I called this game 44 to nine Buffalo. I was right on the nine points. Nine should win you a game. That should win you a game. Not fucking six. That the Buffalo Bills, this number one scoring offense, that's what they gave you. Six fucking points against a bad defense. Bad defense. Uh, but no. No, as of right now, fuck that. Uh, that one seed? That ain't happening. It's not happening. Okay. Throw that throw that right out the fucking window. Um, let's just hope we get into the playoffs. The way this the way this is going, let's just hope we get there. The Patriots are creeping up. And listen, guys, we lose to the Jets. It's over. It's fucking over. It's over. Um, and I think there's gonna, you know. You gotta, you gotta do something, man. The, the Bobby Johnson has to go. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Scott Crosby missed two field goals. Bojo didn't spin the laces both times. 
Of course, Bojo is terrible at holding punts. He's the fucking worst. Um, James coming in. Uh, yeah, what we need is for this team to play to our level, not our competition's level. Yeah, hundred percent. But listen, I don't want to hear that that excuse either. Because listen, isn't the Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen especially, when they ask about the schedule, like an important game coming up, what do they always tell you? What does Josh Allen always say? What does McDermott always say? We don't know the next opponent. We're only concentrating on this week's game, which is a great mindset if you fucking did it. Because <laughs> where was that mindset today? If the mindset was there, we I would be much happier talking to you guys right now because we would have won, <laughs> right? So I don't want to hear about that. Oh, we don't pay attention to the schedule. We only pay attention to the, the you know, this week's opponent. And, and, you know, I love that attitude, but it ain't fucking working, <laughs> right? Pittsburgh lost. Shouldn't have never lost to that team. Fucking three to three at halftime against the Dolphins should have never been. Losing to the Jaguars. Losing to the Tennessee Titans when uh, we had multiple chances in the red zone. Unacceptable. All games that we should have won. Every single one of those games right i'm telling you the truth we should be undefeated right now like i'm serious we kicked our listen the red zone been so bad it cost us the pittsburgh game cost us the pittsburgh game L go look at look go look at the red zone two first i think we we're two for five two for six then the jaguar game oh that was just a fuck today's game was just a fucking nightmare today's game couldn't do anything right uh the titans game we, I think we were two for six, two for five, two as well. Two for five, two for six. All we had to do was score one one more of those red zone opportunities. Touchdown, we win the game. Just one. Win the game. Instead, we lost. Why? Because we struggle in the red zone. We're 28th in the red zone. Unacceptable. Uh, let's see here. Diego, O-line. Yeah, man. Talking about all game. Been talking about it all, all, all show. Uh, O-line, fucking awful. Um, I got to say. I think it's the worst in the NFL. I think it's the worst in the NFL. I I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck what PFF or any of these ranking systems. For I watch this fucking team. They are fucking bad. This offensive line is terrible. They get pushed back constantly. They I, I don't see anything good there. Nothing good uh, on the offensive line front. I'm sorry. I love Deion Dawkins. He's, he's okay. I, I mean, honestly, at this point, He's all right. I mean, because I don't think I still don't think he's 100 percent back from the COVID thing. So I'm going to say he's at about 75 percent. I, I I just don't think he's 100 percent. Uh, let's see here, Diego. What do you think about uh, us getting OBJ? It's not going to happen, and it's not the answer. Um, one, we're like 20 something on the um on the because there's a list of teams that can claim them. The uh, the waiver claim. We're really like 20 something. It's not going to happen. There's a lot of bad teams out there, like the Lions, that have an opportunity to pick them up. If I'm the Lions, I pick OBJ up because why the fuck not? You're fucking terrible. Uh, he, and he's, remember, he's only a loner. He's only the rest of the season he's done. He's a free agent. So um, he's not the answer, bro. He's not the answer. The answer right now is the offensive line getting their shit right. I mean, in reality, and I don't know if that's going to happen because this is who we have, man. I'm sorry. This is who we have. <laughs> there, there's no other guys waiting in the wing, guys. There's no other rookies that, like, Spencer Brown, like, that's it. Like, this is it. Like, there's no other offensive lineman that we could pick up from the streets. Put it this way. Even shitty, garbagey Bobby Hart got picked up. That's how bad teams need offensive alignment. So if you think we're just going to run out on the streets and get an offensive line, it ain't going to happen. This is who we got, guys. This is it. Um, yeah, Dable, Diego. I know. Dable with his quarterback draws. I, I've been saying it. Why? What the fuck are you doing? Why do you keep calling that play over, over, all the time? All the fucking time. By the way, every time we run, it's so obvious we're going to run. It's so fucking obvious that we're going to run. We we, we just do not. The formation, you go, I already know it. I'm watching the game. I'm saying they're going to run the ball. 
<laughs> sure enough, they run the ball. And the defenses are waiting on it. Defenses are waiting on it. We got to go. Listen. They have to go back to what they did last year. They have to. They got to avoid the run. I hate to say it. I, I fucking hate to say it because I went into this season saying, man, you got to mix it up a little bit more. Got to run a little bit more. Uh, but it's not who we are, man. I think you got to go pass aggressive. I, I do. You got to go back to your four or five receiver sets and, and, and hope for the best at this point. Because right now, man, running the ball is, is just not going to work. Uh, let's see here. James, it almost felt like we had an entire rookie squad for our refs calling wrong numbers, bogus calls, missing blatant, calling. Yeah. Hey, I got, I will say this though. I'm not going to blame it on the refs. This loss, this loss, this loss is totally on us, but I will say the refereeing today was fucking bad. It was bad. It was really, really bad. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars offensive line were jumping off sides multiple times. No flags being thrown. None. They were they were throwing flags left and right on us, though. Like, we had a shitload of flags. Uh, but, yeah, but I'm not going to totally blame it on the refs. Yeah, I'm not, matter of fact, I'm not going to blame it on the refs at all, but they did do a bad job. They did, but that's not the reason why we lost this game. There's no excuse. Listen, guys, they had six fucking points uh, for most of the game. Are you fucking kidding me? We could not score a touchdown. We, we, what? What? Like, that's not on the refs, man. That's us. That's us. Plain and simple. Diego, I've never seen such a predictable offense in my life. Yeah, predictable, plain, vanilla, fucking, uh, we're doing fucking check down city left and right now because we have no answer for the blitz. By the way, you guys missing Dawson Knox yet? Missing Dawson Knox? How about that? How about that Tommy Sweeney that everybody was, you know, raving about uh, <laughs> early? Because I, I, I remember on Twitter, of course, I'm mentioning Twitter, you know, Twitter. But everyone's like, oh, Tommy Sweeney. You got to get Tommy Sweeney involved. Got to get got some Sweeney in the game. Sweeney's bad, bro. There's a reason why Sweeney is not the starter. There's a reason why Sweeney was not active a lot of games. Uh, this is what you get from Tommy Sweeney. A fumble, right? Drop drop pass, bad blocking. He's just not a good tight end, bro. He's not a good tight end. He's fucking bad. I, would, I, I honestly would have liked to see the other guy, Quentin Morris, I think his name is. Uh, the rookie guy that we got, the tight end. Uh, I was kind of hoping to see him eventually because Tommy Sweeney's just, he's fucking bad. I'm sorry. He, he, he's, he's, he, I cannot wait for Dawson Knox to get back. And, and imagine a lot of us, uh, a lot of fans were like pissed off with Dawson Knox to start the season, right? Oh, Dawson Knox, we need a new tight end. How you, how you fucking missing Dawson Knox now, boy? Huh? <laughs> need fucking Dawson Knox back, man. Uh, yep, the Patriots are breathing down our necks. Yeah, man, right there, bro. And they're playing some good football. Not only playing good football, they're playing good football when it counts. Like, this is when we should be winning games down the stretch, man. This is the second half of the season, uh, and we are fucking ice cold. We are cold, man. Defense is fine. I still, listen, the defense is fine, man. I, I've, you notice nobody brung up the defense in the chat today? Nobody. Defense is fine. Um, let's see here. Uh, Patriots five and a wins in a row. Yeah, I know. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, Francois, anyone with Jim Moore's could have, would have, should have rant in the right now. Oh, dude. Playoffs. Want to talk about playoffs? <laughs> Where's the fucking, I, I, yo, I, I'm for real. I would not mind a rant right now. By Ju and he's, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. But I wouldn't mind a fucking rant right now by Josh Allen. I, I wouldn't mind it. I want to see some fucking fire from this guy, man. I want to see some fire from the head coach, too. I mean, honestly, are you fucking pissed, Josh? Are you fucking pissed, Sean McDermott, that we just lost to a 1-6 team? A game that we should have won easily. Come on, man. Fucking embarrassing, man. Embarrassing. That flight home should be fucking guys yelling, pissed the fuck off, man. Not quiet on the fucking saying nothing. Man, I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of it, man. The offensive line plays like fucking sissies, man. They get fucking pushed back by the worst defense. And the con they're constantly being pushed back. Constantly, man. Like, these guys don't play with no raw emotion or nothing. Are they that fucking bad? Man, it, it's just... I, hey, guys. Sorry for all the F-bombs. I apologize. I'm just pissed. 
I'm pissed, man. I am fucking pissed, man. Like, it's unacceptable, man. Like, this law, listen, we lost to Tennessee. I was mad. For sure I was mad. But I wasn't, like, ex- like over the top. I was just saying, look, we fucking, they, they, had their, they had all their offense in for the first time of the year. That's a tough team when they're complete. And our defense finally had a little meltdown, but we still had an opportunity to win the game with the red zone, right? If we didn't have such terrible red zone play, we still should have won that game. So I was still optimistic after that loss. I still said, you know what? Clean up the red zone work, clean that shit up, and we'll be okay. We'll be okay because we should have beaten the Tennessee Titans. After that game, it's been downhill. Isn't that weird? After that game, it's almost like teams saw what Tennessee did. And they are using it, using it against us. They, I think defense, defensive coordinators are licking their chops, man, when they play the Buffalo Bills. I hate to say it. They are. Teams are not afraid of this offense anymore. They are not afraid Josh Allen scrambling. They are not afraid. They know they can get to him now with ease. They know we have no running game because we cannot run block. Coordinators are fucking loving uh, to play against the Buffalo Bills. It's true. It's fucking really true. And we got the Jets coming up. If we don't, like I said, if we don't play to our potential, it's a wrap. I'm going to call it right now. I'm telling you. Even if we beat them, but it's minimal. I'm talking by three, six points. It's over. I'm going to call it right now. And I hate to do that because I fucking am a very optimistic uh, fan. But I'm not a Homer fan. I'm not a rah-rah fan. I'm not going to sit here and tell you everything's going to be all right when it's maybe not. We lose to the Jets. Or we barely beat the Jets. I- I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's over. I'm serious because we got some, listen, we got the Patriots twice still, and they're on a fucking mission right now. They're trying to get in the playoffs, and they're on a roll. There's no doubt about it. They're scoring points. They're playing good defense. They've beaten pretty good teams. Two of the games they were in against Tampa Bay, Dallas, right? We don't fuck. We're fucking losing the Jaguars. We're barely beating the Dolphins. (laughs) Like, the Patriots right now, Belichick's going, okay. Okay, this is what they are. This is what the offensive line is. Okay, we'll see you guys in Buffalo. <laughs> We're going to see you guys soon. That's exactly what he's saying, man. Um, Mike Hall, Ford lost this game. No, man, the whole, I'll agree with you. Ford is fucking trash, but this whole offensive line lost us the game. The whole line, bro. I'll tell you who lost us the game. The offensive line and Brian Dable. I'm not going to put this on Allen. Even though Allen made some bonehead decisions out there, the offensive line failed us, and Brian Dable continues to fail us. It's like those two things are, 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 are bringing us down, bringing this team down. We are going down because of those two things. Offensive line and play calling has been atrocious, fucking atrocious, um, and, and you're not going to go to – this is not a Super Bowl team. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Unless, listen, I could change my mind weeks from now, right? If we fucking turn it around somehow. But from what I'm seeing, nah, man. I got to be real. I got to be real with you. Let's see here, Jack. I said if we lose this game, team is done. What I've seen today, holy shit, we ain't going nowhere. (sighs) Yeah, I mean... (laughs) Uh, here's the good news. <laughs> uh, we've played eight games. There's a 17 game schedule. We're still in first place. That's the good news. <laughs> the bad news is it's still the same shitty ass offensive line for the rest of the season. It's still Brian Dable. In the fucking in the box there calling the place that's the problem that's the problem 
And will we get there? Were those two were those two things uh figure shit out? I don't know. I don't know. I, I honestly I don't know, man. I think that McDermott and Bean really thought that. They believed that it was gonna happen this year, that that offensive line was gonna turn around, that Dable would be the 2020 Dable we saw with the gadget plays and the jet sweeps. Jet sweep. Yeah, I said it because we haven't ran any this year. <laughs> Where did that go? I guess that's not there anymore. Jet sweep gone from the playbook. Uh, the five receiver sets with running back Devin Singletary as the fifth receiver. Why? We have a loaded wide receiver room. What the fuck are you doing, dude? What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, it's uh, third and nine. Let's do a quarterback draw here. Perfect time for it. Hey, we got a minute left with no timeouts. Let's do a quarterback draw and kill the clock. What? <laughs> what the fuck? And McDermott is cool with that? What? I mean, dude. I, 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 bro, you guys lucky not at my fucking house because I was screaming. I was screaming. Uh, Diego, yep, I'm calling. I'm done. I just realized if we lost the Jazz, we are shit. <laughs> uh, Muhammad, run down the middle. Let's do it again. One more time. Yeah, let's let's keep on running down the middle. Let, let's keep on calling the RPOs for Josh Allen, which, by the way, the RPOs, it's always Josh Allen running. Honest to God, whenever there's an RPO, I know it's Josh Allen running the ball. Every time. He never gives the ball to the running back. Never. Why are we doing it then? It's clear as day. It's Josh Allen running the ball. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It's fucking mind-boggling, these play calls, man. Very bad. Uh, Jack, same here. Yelling at the radio. Yeah, bro. Yelling at the radio. Bro. I'm just, I'm, I'm so sick of it, man. I, I, I am. Like, listen, the offensive line, they are what they are. I keep saying that. This is the same offensive line from last season. We did nothing different. Nothing. The only difference is Brian Winters isn't on the team. Other than that, it's the same guys. What did they think was going to change? What? What was going to change? They're all of a sudden going to get better because OG Bobby Johnson is this phenomenal uh, fucking uh, offensive line coach? Nah, man. <laughs> no. He's not. Clearly he's not. The Jaguars were missing offensive linemen right before the game. They played better than our offensive linemen who have been on the same team for like two or three seasons now. What is the excuse there for these guys? What? So you're telling me a Jaguars team with fucking guys coming in the last second are playing better than our offensive line who's been playing together for most of the, for like two or three seasons now? <laughs> it's a joke. It's a fucking joke, man. Uh, let's see here. Muhammad, I can't blame Allen too much. He literally has no time to make any decision with that O-line. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Listen, I'm telling you. It's like a 2018 all over again with this offensive line. And Josh Allen, he still has to be smarter than throwing the ball while he's getting sat. Like, you can't do that. You can't. Like, guys, let's be real. That, that You can't do that. You got to take – I know it sucks, and that's not in his DNA sometimes, most of the time. But, but you're going to cost us, you know. Uh, you got to throw it away or take the sack, man. I know it sucks, and it's not your fault. I'm not even mad at Josh if he throws it away or takes a sack there because I'm saying our fall offensive line sucks. What can he do? But to throw the ball like that, man, it's, it's, it's you're doomed for a bad play, and that's exactly what it is. 2018 all over again, man. It's not what I want to see. Matt Gilmer, uh, Matt Gilbert, where's the Bills postgame interview? It's embarrassing. I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm sure it's on Facebook. If you go on Facebook, um, Buffalo Bills do a, uh, you know, they do all the press conference after, but they're not going to give you anything. They're not going to give you what I'm giving you, which is the truth. 
Diego, yes, I want to see this post game too. Hopefully, justice. No, he's not though. Listen, Diego, Mike, Matt, Muhammad. He, they're not. That's not in their. That's not how they're programmed. McDermott's not going to give you anything. He's not going to give you anything. Josh is. Josh is not going to. You know what Josh is going to say? I'll tell you right now before you even watch. He's going to say, "I boy, you know, I I, I want to have some of those plays back. That's one. I wish I could have some of those plays back. Um, you know, I put this on me. It's not the offensive line. I got to I got to do better. Like that's another classic one. I got I got to do better." Uh, and then, and then McDermott is just going to say, well, I got to look back at the film. I got to look at the film. I thought our offensive line did well, but I got to look at the film. Uh, he's not going to bash anybody. They're going to give you very basic answers. Nobody's going to be fired up. And they, they should, right? They should, they all should be mad. This is a fucking disappointing loss. Uh, I cannot express how bad mad I am. I can't, um, you guys see it. But I'm just saying, I, I even this is nothing. Like I, 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 I I'm, I'm like kind of lost for words, because this, this shouldn't have never happened. I get that sometimes, you know, any given Sunday, I get that whole thing. But really, good teams are great teams. Teams that are favored to go to the Super Bowl don't lose to teams like this. They don't, man. It's embarrassing. It really is, and it's tough. This is something that we're gonna have to. We're going to remember all week until we play Sunday again. And I'm just not even confident in our, really, honestly, the chat. You guys confident right now in this offense? Are you confident? Are you confident we can score 30 points in a game? Are you, 24? What, what do you guys think? I mean, honestly, at this point right now, what we're, how we're playing, you think we're, 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 con you think we're good enough to score 21 to 28 points somewhere around there? I don't. I don't know. It, I don't know. I think teams are figuring us out, man. I really do. Uh, Matt, uh, just last season, they were saying Dable was the best. No, nah, man. I wasn't saying that. I wasn't saying fucking Dable's the best. Listen, I think fucking Dable is overhyped, in my opinion. And like I said, I'll, I listen, I don't care. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. They can unfollow me on Twitter all they want. Or don't watch my channel. It is what it is. I speak the truth. I see it how I see it. Uh, I never was. I never was on the Dable train. Okay. Uh, I don't like his play calling. I thought he got better in 2020, but it's the same old Dable, man. It's the same old shit. Every fuck. He does terrible in game adjustments. Every team he's ever been a offensive coordinator for, they've always been towards the bottom of the league on offense. <clears throat> There's a reason why. Okay. He's, I, I don't think he's good. I, I, I think they give him way too much credit for Josh Allen uh, uh, success. Um, I think Josh Allen's success is a lot of things. I, I think it's one, it's, it's Josh Allen for, for going, for giving that extra effort in the offseason when it's not necessary. I think it's um, uh, our, our, our quarterback coach, Ken Dorsey. I think it's uh, uh, the guy who works out, Jordan Palmer. There's a lot to it. The mechanics uh, specialist you saw. It's not all Brian Dable. And I, I I hate when I'm watching these games and they're just saying how Brian Dable is the reason why Josh Allen is where he is and blah, blah, blah. And it's not true, man. That is so far from the truth. Uh, I get so angry. And I get the players love him. I get it, man. He's been there, you know, what, three seasons now or so. I get it. Okay. But you listen. Sometimes, man, you gotta just let that love go and get somebody that 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 that's better. Okay, I'm for, I'm for real here. You know, I you know I, I know they all have they call him Dave's and they all have this relationship with him, and he is this all man. His playbook is so unbelievable. What is so unbelievable about his playbook? What? What the fuck does he do so special? Honestly, I have not seen. I don't know, it looks it looks fucking very standard to me. I don't see anything special in his fucking playbook. I thought he was running uh, better plays last season, for sure. Listen, when you get McKenzie in that jet sweep, teams have to be honest, right? They got to watch McKenzie. Even if McKenzie doesn't get the ball, where has that been all season? We don't do any of that. He doesn't do trick plays anymore. And I'm not saying trick plays are the way we're going to win games. I'm just saying. He's like totally got that out of his playbook. We're very, very basic now. 
We are running a very basic offense. This is very basic, bro. Check down city. Josh Allen, if you look at, I believe, I'll have to look at his stats, but uh, he's not, his average yard per throw has to be down. It has to be. It has to be. We are not going deep anymore. Uh, why? why? Diggs can't get open? What, what's going on here? We're not calling uh, plays for Cole Beasley early on, which we should be. Gabriel Davis, who I thought was going to have a good season, been nowhere, been quiet. He's a no man. He's he's lost. Fuck, you might as well bring back Duke Williams. Serious. I'm being for real, man. What the fuck has Gabe Davis done this season? Nothing. Fucking nothing, man. Embarrassing. Uh, Mac, other than the fact that we run it first, second down. Yeah, yeah. Very, that's what I'm saying. He's very, he's very, listen, you can see it as a fan. You're watching. You're like, that's a run play. It's going to, they're going to run it. They're going to run it here. And, and it, nine times out of 10, they run it. I'm, I'm serious. I, I, the formation, you could totally tell it's a running play. It's embarrassing, man. It's just, I don't, I don't get it. I, I honestly, I don't, I don't get what the hype is about Dable. It, it's, it's, it's just frustrating guys, man. It really is frustrating, bro. I'm sorry. I'm on here just fucking shitting on the Buffalo bills. Cause I love this team. You guys, I love this team. I fucking love this team, man. Like, you know, listen, this shit's real. This shit's real for me. I'm fucking diehard. I've been watching since 1989, man. Okay, I've been through a lot of ups and downs with this fucking team, man. I've been through a lot of heartbreak with the Super Bowls. I've been through a lot of fucking disappointing years. Many, 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 man, with different head coaches, different GMs, different coordinators, right? Different players coming in, you know? Starting 4-0 and and then fucking not even making the playoffs. Dude, I've been through this. I've been through this before. It's fucking sucks. So we finally got a good GM. Finally got a good coach. We're on the right path. But we're still doing some dumb shit like the offensive line, man. It's probably one of the most important things in football. Probably one of the most, man, besides the quarterback. And we have one of the worst. Come on, man. I mean, come on, dude. Brandon Bean, you should know better, man. You know it starts up front. Everybody knows that. You got a bad up front, you're going to be a bad offensive team, man. Quarterback needs a little time to breathe back there, bro. Ten swat leads the league in swatted footballs. Josh Allen leads the league. What's that tell you? He's six foot five, guys. It's not like he's Kyle Murray, Murray back there throwing and it's getting swatted because he's short. He's six foot. None of it, bro. It's because the defense is so in his face. His offensive line's getting pushed back. His they're getting swatted. It's unacceptable, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, and they don't see this. They they don't they don't see this. The trade deadline come and gone. Nothing. No, nothing. You're gonna stick with Cody Ford. You could. We have confidence in Cody Ford. I keep telling you guys, Cody Ford. I still have confidence in Cody Ford. Well, fuck, you're the only motherfucker that has confidence in Cody fucking Ford. Because I'm going to tell you right now, 99.9% of Bill's Mafia has zero fucking confidence in Cody fucking Ford. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> 99 fucking percent of Bill's Mafia right now has zero confidence in Cody Ford. So you can preach all that shit about Cody Ford, your confidence still in Cody Ford. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. And if you do, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what you're seeing, bud. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't believe you then. I'm sorry. I don't fucking believe you. Uh, Jack, something going on in the locker room. Seems like the team's falling apart week after week. Coaches uh, tearing his team apart. Yep. So I, I don't know about tearing a team apart, but listen. <laughs> the offensive lineman is a disaster, bro. It's a fucking disaster. I, I, I. I've been saying this since the stream started. I mean, yes, Matt. Defense played well. Uh, just we, we we forced turnovers. We did. We had a turnover in a key part of the game, Matt. Right? I know you remember this. You were watching. Right before the half, uh, Jerry Hughes got a fumble. Uh, uh, stripped um, uh, Hyde. Um, and we recovered. We had a minute left. A little over a minute. No timeout. This is perfect. I'm thinking, fuck, dude. We're going to drive down the field. At least, worst case, we kick a field goal. Worst case. 
we fucking run a quarterback draw with Josh Allen with no timeouts. Dude, if I'm fucking Sean McDermott at halftime, <laughs> I'm calling Dable over. I'm fucking calling Dable over. And I'm saying, dude, what the fuck was that? <laughs> you do realize we had no timeouts, right, dude? <laughs> uh, did you are, are you paying a fucking attention to the game, Dable? You, you know we were in the second quarter, right? Like, you, are you paying attention? Like, and what is Dable going to say there? Like, I want to know Dable's defense. By the way, Dable's not going to tell you. But I want to fuck, bro, I swear to God, these fucking guys, these journalists that go up there, these the media, they never ask these fucking questions. I would love to fucking be up there. They kick me right the fuck out. I'll be honest. They kick me right the fuck out of that, the media room. Because I, I would be, yo, oh, oh, oh. Brian Dable, I got to ask you, uh, where was your fucking, what was your thinking? Uh, and, uh, the, uh, two minute drive, the two, the, 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 the end of the first half, no timeouts. And you're doing a quarterback draw, uh, with no timeouts. What, what's your thinking on that, Brian Dable? What do you think his answer is? Like, honestly, what do you think Dable's answer would be? Like, honestly, Chad, I, I want to know, uh, what would Dable's answer be on the quarterback draw with no timeouts? Uh, by the way, on R25 or 30, <laughs> not only a quarterback draw, uh, I don't, I forgot all about that. Not only a quarterback draw with no time remaining, no timeouts remaining, but we did it on our side of the field. <laughs> what? <laughs> like that shit's laughable. And yet I'm pissed. I don't know what the thing, like, but I, I'm so fucking angry, man. Like don't, th that's a play right there should stick with you guys that play right there because let's say we don't do that well, hypothetically let's say dable uses his fucking brain right and let's say he you know uh does what a normal offensive coordinator would do in that in that situation with no timeouts with a little over a minute left on a on a on a on a drive where you're trying to probably go and score a touchdown or a field goal before the half right because normal thing to do in football uh, what do you think another coordinator would do? Even an okay coordinator. Does he run his quarterback up the middle on a quarterback draw with no timeouts? <laughs> Probably not. Probably fucking highly unlikely. Listen, I've seen draw plays uh, where you catch a defense off, off guard. I've seen that time to time. You know, you, you maybe you get a chunk because they're, they're expecting pass. I get that. But a quarterback draw... Come on, man. Why? But, like, those are the plays right there. Like, why doesn't McDermott go in Dable's office and say, dude, what the fuck are you thinking? Why aren't we passing uh, the ball uh, towards the sideline, getting out of bounds? What are you doing? That, like, that's the worst play you could call at this time of the game. Like, we need points at this point. It's 6-6. Six to six. We just, thank God, our defense – Got a turnover because right there they had an easy field goal. We have an opportunity to go up in the halftime, which could have changed the whole game, by the way, guys. And instead, we wind up punting because we're fucking running Josh Allen. It's confusing, man. It is. Uh, ain't no way the Bills are supposed to lose the game. Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> we lost a game for many, many well, no, I'm, let, me, let me scratch that. Not many, many reasons. We lost the game because of offensive line and offensive play calling. They fucking suck. They suck. I'm sorry to tell you. Dable is fucking overrated. I keep telling everybody that. I told everybody that when he first came here, and everybody was fucking kissing his ass. When Josh Allen's playing a little better, so it was all Dable. It's not all fucking Dable. Okay? It's not. He had a better season last year, no doubt, as a coordinator. I thought maybe he was turning it around. But what the fuck? Was he mad because he didn't get a head coaching job, so he was going to fucking be terrible now? I mean, he's fucking bad, bro. I'm sorry. He's fucking bad. Steven, uh, they need to get Diggs involved more at this point. Let Josh call his own place. Yeah, that's another thing. Hey, uh, Steven, great fucking point, man. Um, listen, 
Josh has to fucking start calling audibles at the line. He has to start. He has to. Because the play calls are fucking bad. Josh, come on, man. Like, and, and that's on Josh, too. Hey, I, I, I'm very glad you brought that up, Steven. So, Josh, come on, man. You're a smart kid. You're fu- I fucking love you, man. But you know that play call for a fucking quarterback draw with no timeouts, when you're trying to go down right before half and score some points, is a stupid fucking call. Get out of that fucking play call. Fuck Dable. Call that fucking call that play off, man. Call an audible. What are you doing going along with that play call? Why? Like, like, yes, I told. Thank you, Steven. Honestly, though. What the fuck, dude? Get out of that. Where's Diggs been? Get Diggs involved, man. Let's start fucking going back to these four or five receiver sets. Let's start doing it because that's what worked last year. It's only at this point, man, I'm fucking desperate. Honestly, and maybe it don't work. Maybe it fucking won't work, but it's worth a try because what we're doing right now, it ain't working. Uh, Muhammad, we should have we should have been fired yesterday. Yeah, bro. They're not going to fire him because they fucking kiss his ass, man. It ain't going to happen. Uh, can we mute uh, Dable's mic or something? <laughs> hey, honestly, though, to Steven's point, man, Josh needs to start calling the audibles, man. You need, you need to start getting out of some of these play calls. You got to. Because they're fucking horrendous. I'm so sick of them, man. I'm so sick of the, the quarterback draws, the jo- the design Josh Allen runs. Listen, I get he's a fucking great running quarterback. I get it. I get it. But you don't have to fucking do it every fucking game over excessive. I mean, my God, how many times are you going to run Josh Allen, man, before this kid gets hurt, man? The defense knows it's coming. I said it earlier, the RPOs. When has ever a running back taken one of those RPOs. And maybe that's on Allen too, because that is a that's that's on him to, to decide if if he wants to go running back, if, if you know, if he wants to give it to Singletary, take off. I, I you know, honestly, if I'm talking to Josh, I'm the coach, man. I'm telling him, listen, bro, I love you. But bro, you ain't, you know, you can't do everything. You can't, man. You gotta you got you gotta you gotta sometimes, you know, give it up to Singletary on that RPO or give it to Moss. Like you can't do everything for this team, man. You know, I get it, man. But I, I think sometimes Josh tries to do too much, man. He tries to make up for our bad offensive line play, our bad fucking running scheme. Dable's shitty fucking calls, man. You know, and and Josh back, to, by the way, and this is on Josh right now, the fumbling shit. We got away with it at the end of the game there. Should have been a fumble. We still had a chance to fork down. Brant, terrible. Didn't even make that. So we had um, another chance. He fumbled um, earlier in the game on another run, designed Josh Allen run. He's fumbling, having fumbling issues again. Not good. That's not good. Uh, He's not also, he's not feeling the defense coming on on these blitzes. That's not good, man. Uh, Literally last week showed if we play our strength, which is passing the fucking ball, uh, we play great and win. Yeah, bro. Listen, man. at this point, they – here's how I see it, man. McDermott and Dable have been preaching before the season started about being a two-dimensional team, right? We want to be two-dimensional. We want to run the ball. And they're trying to force it so much, and it ain't fucking working. We are not a two-dimensional team. It's just not how we're built. It's not how the offensive line is built. Go back to what worked. That's all I can say. At this point, go back to what worked. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Uh, Flacco, I think let 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 go of the ball the second time. Yeah, bro. <sighs> Honestly, man. Um, I, I think you got to go back to what works, man. And th- and that that's a pass heavy team. I I think we got to be pass aggressive. I'm serious, man. At this point, l- listen, you got to go back to what we did in 2020. And if it doesn't work, then it's just not going to work, guys. It's just not. If if we go past aggressive and it's still Josh is, you know, getting swarmed, he can't make a play, receivers aren't getting open, then I don't know what to tell you. The season's over at that point. I got to tell you that. Because the running game is not going to happen, guys. And it's not the running backs. I keep telling you. Yeah, they're average running backs, but our line is not an average line. <laughs> it's bad. And 
an average running back with a decent line can still pick up some decent yards. Look at the guy in Cleveland. Uh, fucking a guy who's bagging groceries came in and got 140 yards rushing. You're telling me Devin Singletary wasn't on Cleveland Browns? He wouldn't have got the same in that game? Of course he would have. Come on, probably more. Because they're fucking give, giving them blocks. They're opening up lanes. Like, that's all you need. But if you got three guys in the backfield, when the when the ball snapped, you're fucked. I don't care who you got back for, at back uh, uh, and running back. So stop with the fucking two dimensional shit. It ain't working. You gotta go heavy. You gotta go heavy pass, man. You gotta be pass aggressive. Gotta go back to it. Uh, better than being insane, doing the exact same shit over and over again, never working. Yeah, man. It's just not, bro. It's not. It's not. Nothing's working right now. Nothing's working. And, and I'm telling you right now. Uh, I keep telling you, defense coordinators look at film, guys. They look at film. They study the build. They, they, they're studying us. And it just seems like we're doing the opposite. It just seems like uh, Dable's just not doing anything different. Nothing has changed. This is the same game plan week to fucking week. And it's fucking bad football. Bad, bad, bad. There's no other. I, I, I Honestly, when I'm watching, it's boring. Boring me to death. Right? Because it's so plain fucking vanilla Jane fucking football. And the offensive line can't block. We're not doing anything to even try to help Josh Allen on the play calls. You're not doing any jet sweep motions with Isaiah McKenzie anymore. You're doing nothing, nothing, nothing to switch it up on offense. You're not going uh, no huddle. I mean, you're not doing anything. I keep saying, get Josh Allen out of the pocket. Get him rolling out. He's one of the best quarterbacks on uh, the run throwing the, fo- throwing the football. One of the best. And instead, you're calling his stupid fucking plays, and he's stuck in the middle. He's getting the football swatted. You're calling quarterback draws, running plays that aren't working. That's just every time we run the ball, guys, it's like we're, we're giving the defense a play. Every fucking time. Negative one yards. No yards. Maybe two if we're lucky here and there. I mean, that's why I keep saying. Just go pass aggressive, man. What's the difference? What's the fucking difference? Tell me. So Josh Allen on second down misses a throw. Right? And we now we go third and third and whatever. Third and nine, third and ten. What's the difference if we ran the ball and got nothing? It's the same shit. I, I'll take my chances with Josh Allen throwing the ball. Just being honest. Uh, Muhammad, Muhammad. Uh, because they have to run down the middle. Yeah, I think I saw that. But, hey, guys, man. I appreciate you guys coming on, man. And uh, I've been ranting for an over an hour. I'm fucking pissed, man. And uh, I'm sorry for all the F-bombs I, I threw out there today. Uh, and for anyone that left the chat because of that, I apologize. And uh, yeah, I'm just mad, man. I'm mad, and you guys should be mad, too. This whole chat room, everybody that came in uh, tonight should be fucking furious. I don't want to hear any excuses. And, and, and honestly, you guys know this. You got you, you, We can't make excuses anymore for this team. I, I actually made an excuse last week, I, I, and, and I did. I said, you know what? It was bad. We played bad, but, you know, we're never good off the bye week. We had a little rust. Um, Dolphins probably played their best football. We probably played our worst, but we still won. All excuses at the end of the day, because look what we did this week, right? Played even worse against probably a worser opponent than the the Jaguars. You know what I mean? I mean, it is like, I I can't keep making excuses for this team, man. I can't do it, man. Uh, Straight up got a headache from, yeah, I got a headache too, bro. I got a headache. I'm fucking pissed. I don't want to watch football anymore for the rest of the day, dude. Uh, I got people coming here trolling me from other football teams, (laughs) which is fine. Hey, I'm all for that, man. But if you want to come in here and troll on me and you got a shitty ass team, then uh yeah, I'm a fucking I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna roast you, bro. I'm a I'm gonna come right at you, bro. So don't come here talking shit if you're if your team's garbage, bro. I'm just saying, I don't mind you coming here if you're a fucking uh, you know, even a Patriots fans, you guys are fucking doing playing well. You wanna come in here and talk shit a little shit? I'm all, all I'm all up for that. And and I'll eat that crow, baby. I will. I'll fucking eat it all day. Because you guys deserve that. You guys deserve to talk trash. 
But if you're fucking one and, and 16 or two wins or whatever, uh, you have no, you can't come in here talking shit, bro. You can't, you can't, you got your own fucking worries, uh, to worry about. So I don't want to hear that shit. Uh, da, da, da. Dwight, Dwight, Dwight. Uh, Jax was playing like it was their Super Bowl. Yeah, well, it was their Super Bowl. They were going against a number one ranked offense, supposedly. I don't know how the fuck, how the fuck are we ranked number one? I guess we are, but goddamn, we're fucking bad the last two or three weeks. I mean, honestly, bad football, bro. Bad football. Uh, but yeah, they got the right. Listen, that is their Super Bowl. <laughs> That's as good as it gets for the Jaguars this year. That is as good as it gets for them. So, listen, my hat is off for them. Good fucking job, honestly. I'm being dead honest, man. Good job for the coaching staff, the defensive coordinator who fucking brung it. Good for you guys, man, because our offensive coordinator had no fucking answer for your defense. None. Kudos to fucking you. So any Jaguar fans that watch this or on here now, Salute, man. I give you fucking props, man. And you should be fucking happy. You, Yeah, you're damn right. Because I'd be happy, too, if my team was a fucking 1-6 team and beat a team that supposedly is a Super Bowl team and held them to six points. It wasn't like, guys, it wasn't like it was like 27-23 uh, we lost. 27-24, you know, our defense didn't play that well. Our defense played very well. Offense sucks. Sucks. At least the last two or three weeks. Terrible. Uh, Dable sucks. Yeah, man. Mike, been saying it all show. I've been saying it for really <laughs> since 2018. I've been telling people this. And I know I'm going to go on another Dable rant, but I've been saying this for the longest time. He's not what everyone thinks he is. He's not that good. He's not that good. He makes a shit ton of mistakes. He doesn't even seem involved in the game. Go Every time they fucking pan to him in his fucking box, all I see is this. I'm leaning his fat ass in the back of a chair, looking like he's doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that's what we're getting, guys. Don't forget. I believe it was 2019. He used to be on the field. And I think McDermott was like, dude, you got to get your shit together. We got to mix it up here. Go in the box. Maybe you'll see the field better. <laughs> What's that tell you? What's that fucking tell you? Uh, tells you he's not that good. Tells you he's not seeing what the defense is, is, is bringing against the offense. Has to change, man. Dable has to go, bro. I'm I'm done with Dable, bro. I'm fucking done. I've been done. Uh, Josh seems very deflated. I hope he bounces back. I, I yeah. I'm I'm gonna watch the because um, I'm sure he did his press conference. Um, I, I'm gonna watch that, but I'm sure it's very very plain. I'm sure he's just you know eh, you know like I said, he's gonna say the same thing he always says. You know, I wish I had a few back, a few plays back. You know, the offensive. Line. He's not gonna throw anybody under the bus. I'm telling you right now, he's not going to throw four. Yeah, he's not going to throw Cody Ford under the bus. He's not going to throw Dable under the bus. But you know that, you know Josh is going home, <laughs> driving on, right? You know Josh is in the airplane right now with his headphones, probably listening to something or whatever. And in his mind, it has to be saying to himself, he has to be, what, what can I do? What can I do? The offensive line is not giving me any time, man. I'm human. You know, what else can I do? You know, Dable's not helping me either. I know that has to be going in his mind. He's not going to say it, and that's good. Good teammates should not throw other teammates or coaches under the bus. But, uh, fuck, dude. I I'd have a hard time, man, being on that team right now and not uh, not calling people out. I'm, I'm, being dead, I'm being dead honest. I'd have a hard time shutting my mouth right now if i'm fucking Diggs, josh allen the defense I, i'd have a tough time i really would i'd be like bro if i'm the defense i'm like hey, yo go, you guys uh we we fucking held this team to nine points 
I mean, we could have held him to zero, I guess. You know, three. You guys went to six to three, but I mean, you know, guys, uh, pick it up here. Like I, Diggs. I mean, I don't know, man. Listen, I see the sideline, and I see no emotion, man. That's another thing that's bothering me, man. It, it just is, man. I've seen co. I've seen players like, you know. Listen, I hate to bring the fucking name up, but Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, you know, some Peyton Manning. Bro, those guys get heated when shit ain't going right on the sideline. They will get in a motherfucker's face if shit ain't going right. They will put them in their place. They will tell them, right? You guys all seen it. You've seen Peyton Manning yell at offensive linemen. Do your fucking job. Get these guys off my fucking ass. Josh Allen has to do. I'm, I hate to say it. I, I love the guy, and and I, you know I'm not I'm not saying he has to do it all the time. But bro, maybe Josh Allen needs to start lighting the fire on these guys. Maybe he does need to go on the sideline and start fucking ripping some asses. I'm 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 being dead honest. Maybe he needs to do that because being the quiet, nice Josh Allen, maybe it ain't working. Because those fucking offensive linemen are getting you killed, bud. It, 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 like I said, if I'm Josh Allen, bro. I'm going to everybody on that side on the offensive line. Do your fucking job, man. Get these fucking guys off my back, bro. Like, uh, how you fucking want me to win this game, man? You guys gonna you guys gonna wake the fuck up? Did you guys not take any energy drinks before we fucking started this game? What's the excuse this week, guys? That's what I would be saying if I'm Josh Allen, but he's not. He's sitting on the bench. And he's not saying nothing. He has to. He has to get fired up, man. Like, I love what he did last week. When he was fucking pissed last week, he came out in that second half. He played a lot different. He was fired the fuck up. I didn't see it this week. I saw nothing. I just saw Josh Allen sitting with his head down. Can't do that, man. You are the leader. You are the leader of this fucking team. You are the leader. You're the, you're what everybody's looking at. You got to fucking, you got to rip these guys up, man. You got to tell them. You, you got to show some emotion, bud. You have to, man. Or they're never going to fucking, they're never going to, uh, listen, I'm sure they all love you. But I don't know if they're going to respect you if you don't fucking start uh, telling them how it is, man. Speak the truth, man. Bro, I, I'm for real, man. I, I, I mean, listen, if you don't want to do it on the sideline, do it in the fucking locker room, man, at halftime. I don't think he's doing it. I, I just think, I think Josh is too nice. I think Josh being quiet, he don't want to throw nobody under the bus, man. And uh, is McDermott the same way? He might be. I don't see McDermott. Now, sometimes I'll see McDermott, you know, use your head. I don't see him too fired up. But but I don't know, man. His press conferences, boy, he seems very, he don't give much. He don't seem that angry. Disappointed? Sure. Everyone's disappointed. But uh, I don't know, guys, man. It, it, it's a disappointing loss, man. It really, really is. Let's see. Uh, Steven. He looked checked out. Yeah, bro. Uh, he was checked out. He has to be checked out, bro. What? He, I'm telling you right now, bro. He ain't going to say it, but I'm sure in his mind he's saying, what can I do? What else can I do? I'm fucking running the ball. I'm fucking scrambling for my life. I'm fucking doing everything they're asking me to do. And I'm getting fucking killed back here, man. I got no help. I got no. I got nothing. I got no line help. I can't give it to my running backs because they're going to get killed because the offensive line can't block. So I have to be the running back. I got to fucking take the extra hits that I shouldn't have to take. Quarterback shouldn't be taking all those hits, man. Bro, Josh Allen ain't going to last in this league too long playing like the way he's playing. I'm telling you guys, I, I, I'm being real, man. I love the kid, man. I do. I want Josh Allen to be here for a long time, bro. But he ain't, it ain't going to happen if we're continuing to run him like that over and over and over. Using him as our primary back, man. It ain't going to work. He's going to get hurt. He's by, Matter of fact, he's been hurt. He's had shoulder injuries that in college that took him out for a whole year. He got hurt his rookie season with us on a, a, a with a shoulder injury. I'm telling you guys, it ain't gonna. You cannot keep running Josh Allen like this. He's gonna get fucking hurt, man. And then that's a wrap. That's a wrap for our franchise quarterback. Because I'm telling you right now, 
if it's a major injury, they're never really the same when they bounce back. He's not going to be the same Josh. Injuries take a toll on these guys eventually. Can't keep doing that, man. And that's on Dable, too, by the way, guys. Running the shit out of Josh Allen. Like he's this fucking high school football player. Stop it, man. Stop it. Uh, Muhammad, he's also hurt his left. Yeah, so I'm saying. He's hurt his arms, man. Like, dude, he ain't Superman. He ain't Superman. I'm sorry. He plays like it, but he's he's human, right? He could break a bone. He could hurt an arm. He could sprain his ankle. He could. He's human. Dable, stop it already, man. Um, but yeah, man, shit has to change, guys. Listen, I'm out of here, bro. I appreciate everybody coming on. Uh, if you guys, uh, I'll probably come on tomorrow for a little bit, um, at six thirty-five. And then I have a shows on Friday at hashtag sports at 7.30 tailgate talk. And then Saturday, uh, I come on here 7.30 um, for AFCE shakedown. With um, I got Patriots, guests, and Dolphins. They're going to be ripping me a new ass, but it is what it is, man. I, I can't. I can't. I don't, I don't have anything else to say, guys. It's just uh, I'm going to watch these press conferences now and uh, turn football off. And uh, just drink away. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks again. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe too, man. Hit that thumbs up. Help me out, man. Hey, peace out, Bills Mafia, man. We're still number one, man. You know, I'll always be Bills Mafia. I'm just fucking pissed, dude. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for joining me. Go, Bills. I've lost it. I've lost reality. And when I lose reality, somebody else pays the all men, Rick Flair. Woo! 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 Man, I won't fight Woo! Woo! Here you go.